Hello there, Rule the Waves fans of YouTube. This is Noname Moment 7 Spore, and today we are continuing our playthrough as Austria Hungary with a starting date of 1900. As a reminder, this series was originally live streamed on Twitch. Links to it and my personal Discord are in the video description below. This was only streamed in 720p, so that is what the video quality is going to be. And this series took place across the original three versions of the game, all of which are currently outdated. With all that out of the way, let's get on to today's episode. <sighs> we need more destroyers badly right now. I've got, I've got to halt that. We... We just have to. We don't have a choice. We have... We are so low on fleet destroyers at this point, we need to just get more. Um, although now we can go up to... Alright, yeah. Auto-design a ship of the destroyer type. Short range, uh, normal reliability. We'll, we'll have it go 30 knots. Normal, instead of cramped. Uh, I really hate them putting the sea turret on these things. Because no, you don't need a don't need a C turret. V turret for a torpedo tube, not really worth it. V turret is much better for a uh, center line gun mount. So torpedo tube wise, we probably want maybe a W. No, not a W. Uh, Q. R maybe. Yeah, R is a decent position. And right now we have one in the P position, so yeah. We do P, Q, and R. Like so. I think so. Ah. Larger DD and better torps. Yep. Oh, we're gonna go up to f we're gonna go up to five inch guns in this guy. Actually we can we can put mines on it too. So you should move up there. Hmm. You get ten torps. I could, but it looks ugly. And yes, that is perfectly good reason not to do it. What I'll probably do, though, is I'll probably do uh, broadside swivel mounts. Or a set of broadside swivel mounts here, in addition to the uh, centerline ones. Or increase the speed to get the six torp. I'm thinking the we will go with ten torp, but uh, some of them will be uh, those guys. Structure one, we're gonna modify a bit. You know what? We're gonna get back there. We need to do something like that, maybe. So we don't have a structure 5 and a structure 6. Okay, so I assume that this is supposed to act as like the bridge 12 even given remaining weight. This gives us a little bit of upgrade room though. So, yeah, I think I'll take that. We can build, yeah, we can build destroyers of this displacement. The other thought is we could put uh, ten inch or a couple uh, extra three-inch guns on the side, and then remove those three-inch guns in a uh, later refit if we need, say, uh, better fire control. So what do we want to do? Okay. So that right there is acting as the bridge in the superstructure, but this is a weird way to do it for this specific ship. So I'm going to turn that funnel into an oval. I'm going to move that funnel fur further forward, maybe up to about there. Um, I really wish we had like X superimposed, but we only have V. Structure 3, we're going to 
structure two we're gonna take out and change into uh something kind of more like this and then structure th three will just be the uh actual bridge itself which will kind of look like that um maybe better of a version of that unfortunately that front there is also lopsided so oof Lord of the Waves, ship designer, not being kind to me today. So, structure five, then. We are gonna probably just do, like, a line right there. Actually, no. We'll do something like that, maybe. Right now. That. And then that. And then structure six. I mean, that's a destroyer. Here, have a box right there. Actually, wait, no, 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 we could do structure six as like a uh, box back here. There we go. So this will be the Salamander class destroyer, save the design, it'll be ready in a month. <sighs> oh, we'll get that one closer to done. Chameleon is now commissioned to the Italian ship Pisa has been sunk. I'll just auto-resolve. Damage in an in indecisive battle. We didn't get the design study done! What the hell, guys? What am I paying you to work for? Okay, Sardinia Air Base is constructed. Continued operations will secure total victory. Another fleet battle. Our fleet is in good shape to take this one, though. Fortunately, their fleet probably is, too. Form up on Budapest as a core. Okay. Um, okay, so we have uh, recon zeppelins up now. There's some um, off of there. Are they visible over here? Or no. Look at that. They're all visible. So where are the ones at Pola, then? They're all going out from uh, Pola there. I'm wondering if a recon zeppelin last time got shot down. Alright. What time is it? Uh, still pretty early in the day. Yes, I know I can look at the clock down here, but I like to zoom out and look at the entire Earth and just see where the night is on the planet gets me a much better idea of how long I have for whatever reason honestly uh... twentieth century admiral should have done that they should have uh, just zoomed out their top-down vision until it uh... viewed the entire earth and then looked at where the nighttime curve on it was to uh figure out how many hours of daylight they had left and not like bother with a clock or anything. All right, so they've definitely spotted us, but where is their force? I'm going to angle us at that angle right now. Okay. Second scout group maybe. Armored cruiser group there. Maybe. That's their battle line. 18 knots now, 18 knots. Go broadside. You guys, go to a support roll. It's... Having the scout cruisers out is an easy way to get them sunk. Hey, look! Our Zeppelin recon. It's going over this place. Or, 
Yep, we're starting to recon the enemy ships now. Alright, start sailing on this course. So they are heading back to Incona right now. Or Incona. Alright, let's see how this goes. Let's see if this can go a little bit better than all of the other engagements we've had. I, I don't think our training's applied yet. Our better gunnery training. Although it should have by now, with how many months we've been in this war and how many fleet battles we have had. We've had just like every single fleet battle. Okay, the bird is calm right now. I think he's content. Are you content? Are you watching all this action unfold and being really content because it's kind of quiet for you? I like, like barely even paying attention there and just... I saw that we were scoring hits on them and there were hits and stuff, but nothing nothing concerning appeared in that time. We're about to sail them into the coast. Okay. Uh he is a Pacific parrotlet. Little green Pacific parrotlet. Okay, so this was what I was talking about, where the coastal batteries sometimes just change. Because last fleet battle, this was a 4-inch, and now it's a 7-inch. Yeah, if they hit the coast flotilla attack, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking... A couple more turns. couple more turns. <gasps> oh my god! Do it, do it now, do it now! Flotilla attack now! Oh, this has shifted the whole course of the war right there. <laughs> Their battleships are separated out from everything else. Our battleships are closing in. Our turret armor's good. That one has slowed. Our destroyers are closing in. This is it. This is the battle. We have been waiting for. Oh, my bird's happy now. I talked more, so he is very happy. I got excited. We are closing in on that 7-inch coastal battery, though, too. So that's a little, uh, concerning. Yeah, turn this way. Oh. Destroyers are firing torpedoes. At everything. They're not scoring hits. Ah. Yet. Nice! Two torpedo hits! Two torpedo hits on another one! Oh! Good shooting! Good... Good shot! <laughs> There's a very high risk of us getting torpedoed as well here, so I'm a little mildly concerned of that. Habsburg limits flooding. Oh my god. To get off is taking hits. Turn back over. Oh god, that Intrapedo class is heading straight for our line. That is a bad sign. Come on. Full speed, full speed, full speed away from it. It's launching, it's gotta be launching torpedoes at us. Swerve that way. Swerve that way. So 
So this has turned into a very interesting situation now. Um, yeah. What the hell just <laughs> Alright, so that destroyer is still up there. Um, so what shape is our force in right now? So Virbis has a little bit of damage to get off a little bit. Uh, Urzarok, Friedrich, not much. Habsburg took a 12-inch uh, round line hit on the belt extended and has lost half of its flotation. That is actually a very risky ship right there. I think... Yeah, I'm going to detach Habsburg and send her home. I don't think it's smart having her out here anymore. Possibly. They are close to port. Now we are still on flotilla attack right now. Yeah, pick up survivors. Okay, so we sank that enemy. One and only chance, probably. Yep. Something down there is heavily damaged. Um. Yeah, it's probably gonna make it into port. putting more, or I'm trying to put more fire down on it. Yeah, they are definitely returning into port. On the other hand, yeah, it might sink in port. That's probably, that's my thought of what's going to happen, is it's going to wind up sunk in port. Which does fortunately mean that um, it'll be out of the war for a while. On the other hand, that will not mean that we... or that will mean that they didn't lose it. However, we are right now in a good position to start shooting at these armored cruisers here. And if that doesn't materialize, then we take out these guys. On the other hand, we're kind of sailing into them. Target the CLs, target the CLs. Yeah, their division is retreating. Okay, so... Now that guy is heavily damaged. That is a very heavily damaged destroyer right there. We're going to slow down to 16 knots. Okay, so we're char trying to target them. But it looks like they might escape. I say uh, go for that guy. That is a mine. Um, oof. Which division are you part of? You're part of that one. Uh, detach. Take manual control. Ten knots. To Pola. We need to take out that guy, though. Okay, it is limiting flooding somewhat. Samus. Misunderstood. Yeah, you're still targeting that hopefully dying cruiser. Alright, so Habsburg's just kind of going back to port right now. Yeah, that ship has stopped moving. I think it's dead. If you can, uh, try to knock out that Ascaro class too.
Although we're gonna swing back this way now. Alright, flooding is now six. Um, yeah, so I think that guy's gonna sink. That coastal gun battery has suffered some damage. They're close to port anyway, so if they uh, sink, then the survive. Okay, there it goes. It went down. I might just let it let them rescue the survivors from their own ship. I would rather uh, keep managing uh, Franz Ferdinand, so it can go 14 knots. If we go any faster than 10, though, the flooding might increase, and that is not something we want. So. Pull is probably the closest base from here. How much, how many more turns? Okay, so... I don't think they're going to repair the remaining flooding. Do we risk heavier flooding to try to get it back to port at a faster speed? Or do we keep it at 10 knots? Um... No, what, how much does it have left? Uh, one, two, or one, one, two, one, one. One, one, two, one, one. Actually, wait, is that flotation damage? No, no, that's how many left. Okay, so four, seven, five, eight. Four, seven, five, eight. Um, divided by six. It's 793 turns, and we need to keep it alive maybe six to eight hundred. How? So ETA is four hours to Pola. Bit more than four, probably five. Okay, so eight hundred. Uh, all right, minus four eighteen divided by sixty, which means that we have six hours of simulation left. Yes, it made it! Alright, so we sank one battleship, heavily damaged another, and lightly damaged another dreadnought. All of our dreadnoughts were lightly damaged. We suffered, uh, one of our battleships, uh, one of our pre-dreadnoughts moderately damaged, and one of them lightly damaged. This is the type of battle I could, um, actually bother to record the results from. And that... That would be a very time-consuming process, unfortunately. So I don't know if I should do that here, or if it should just... I might just not bother with this. I, I want to keep the stream going. So, yeah, turret flash fire on the uh, aft turret there. That is good. Uh, so Roma. Roma was the one which took... Or Roma took only one torpedo hit and had a lot of flooding issues. But we just weren't able to put it down. Uh, Cagliari. That was the uh, Syracuse class we sank. Which, unfortunately, is a way more modern light cruiser than uh, they should have any right of having in this time. That being said, it is now at the bottom of the ocean, so that is good. Uh, this battleship here is ours. This was one which was hit. So, uh, yeah, that six flooding was still remaining, but it would have made it. The battle ended uh, soon enough. So that is good. Uh, Benedito Brin... Uh, didn't take too much. Habsburg was the one which just took one shell hit, which knocked out so much of its flotation that I'm like, let's pull that ship back. Veribus Unitas didn't take that much damage. Amalfi took some bad hits. Your RNG with mines is atrocious, by the way. Yeah, yeah it is. Um, but you know, we didn't lose anything this battle. We did a lot more damage than we received. This might be the battle which determines the war right here. Um, yeah, we destroyed Erzog, Friedrich, AP falls out of line. So that was a bridge hit, and then the rest of these looks like we just uh, scored some mild or small to mild uh, damage on them. 
and to get off. Get off only took some medium hits. Zarini took some hits as well. Seda took some hits. Destroyer wise, uh that was their uh uh Gugulimo Pepe class. Okay. Okay. Italy. Why did you need nine hundred tons for two destroyer or for two torpedo tubes? I don't think you needed to bother with that. Origin, Sazamos, uh, took some severe flotation damage, survived. That one didn't take much damage. We did some damage to their battery. A lot of structure damage, not a lot of flotation damage, of course. Of course you need to do all the flotation damage to the, uh, land batteries to sink them. Uh, yeah. Rizorak Friedrich, and at this point it's just some, uh, med medium damage destroyers. Yeah, a lot of ships suffered damage this battle, but you know... That's the key. That was bad, but you know, that 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 is still a good trade right there. That for that, and then two of theirs medium damage, while only one of ours is. Yeah, major victory. Yeah, that's the battle which decides the war. The battle of Rimini. Thank you all for watching. As a reminder, the like and subscribe buttons exist. Do with them as you please. If you want to watch my live streams from which this video originates, you can go to my Twitch page. And if you want to keep up with the live streams and interact with my nearly non-existent community, you can join my Discord. Links to both are in the description below. Goodbye, everyone.